the teddy bear what's coming your way and we do have the chariot and the three of pentacles somebody is moving on from a connection a partnership that felt solid we might have built a life together the nine of cups wish fulfillment right moving on moving away breaking free um successfully actually breaking free from a connection and with memories of love six of cups and the chariot for some of you dealing with a cancer this is about wish fulfillment this is about wanting and desiring this person it's about the soulmate bond but I, it has this energy of breaking free and starting new um libra with the ace of pentacles prosperity begins once we walk away but it's not only on it's it's not like a quiet walking away it's the chariot right it's the shabang that comes with it and the three of pentacles again recognition and uh, reward in this but again right uh, we um, we talk about partnership here and um, can be with a cancer let's see what's going on here justice justice this is you this is your reading um libra this is you and this is taking too much responsibility and working too much movement choices and decisions balance and magician this there is no other way for the universe to tell you please manifest something new awareness right uh wake up that's the energy i'm picking up here you need balance you need movement choices and decisions and a ton of awareness and a new manifestation uh, with a magician, right? It's just so you know, you have all the tools to start new. That is the um, the magician there. You have all the tools to start new. You have what it takes. You have the magic in you to make things happen. <clears throat> and you showed up the first card out. Such a beautiful energy. So, past energy is on your side, Libra, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. So, I told you, right, I combined a couple of decks. We love confirmations, and when we get them twice, it's like, yay. And the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. So, let's see what's going on. So in the past, recent past, however you resonate with this, we do have the hangman and we have the two of pentacles. And it's interesting because we also have it um, as the overall energy, right? So a lot of effort, a lot of movement choices. And uh, Libra, I believe it's the universe saying you sacrificed way too much for this connection. We do have the hangman and the two of pentacles. You put, you put the work, or maybe you are uh, really focused on um, you know, putting in the effort, the hours, what it takes, um, and sacrificing when actually what it took was uh, a new perspective, you know, a new angle to look at the situation. Uh, and I know, right, when we are busy with work, sometimes we miss life around us and we are not really understanding what's going on. We have no idea, by the way, <laughs> right? So I kind of feel the better that. Um, this is what happened, right? Being really twice the two of pentacles and we just started the work and this is all about keeping things in balance, taking responsibility, working an extra job, um, you know, really, really effort to keep everything afloat and feeling responsible to do so, right? And that's what you've done and, um, and the level of sacrifice, let me tell you, right? Now, this person of yours, um, Libra, might be a Leo you are dealing with. We do have the Sun, but we also have the Seven of Swords. So they were not honest with us 100%. And of course, um, you know, <laughs> attracted by your light, right? Attracted. Um, and uh, we know the Sun is about awakening and awareness and truth and staying in the light, but then combined with deception and envy and... Uh, cheating lying and deceiving and again might have been a leo between the two of you or uh, he or she might have been a leo um but um yeah not telling the truth uh not to themselves uh not to you not to anybody right mutual energies between the two the two of you though we have the six of cups which is the energy of soulmates and the three of pentacles that was a partnership we created a life together um you worked on right um same project uh same uh 
you know, shooting for the same goal and um, and memories of love, right? And I, it's, um, you know, you know how it feels, it feels like that type of connection where, um, you know, in the beginning it feels good and then we uh, turn a blind eye and then things happen and we don't realize because, or we don't pay attention because we only focus on the time uh, when it was good. And that's the Six of Cups energy, right? Only seeing the good things. Um, so Libra, energy right now, we do have the Emperor. Uh, it can be an Aries involved. I don't think so. This is taking control and looking at the future. Um, we probably have you with a very passionate endeavor, being creative about something or starting this new beginning with so many ideas. And also making a lot of, um, um, I would say, plans or um, calculations, right? To get to the Ace of Wands right now. This person of yours, honest to God, there is a Leo involved here. We have the Sun and the Strength and the Wheel of Fortune. So they are going with the flow, staying strong, staying in control, um, taming themselves on their best behavior while navigating the waves, right? Um, going with the flow, and I would say twice the energy, right? The light and the power. Um, it has this energy of accepting, um, you know, when we've been dishonest and somebody finds out and it's like, well, you know, well, we've been exposed. So that's exactly the energy, right? Accepting the destiny of something that was dishonest in the past and saying, you know, um... Uh, that is all. That is always okay. It's one of the laws of the universe, right? To balance the scales, and we started with balancing the scales. Balance. It's like um, bills being paid between the two of you, Libra. And on your side, I'm I'm seeing like a really honest work and um, and effort. And now it's like, well, um, uh, we look at the future with nothing on our consciousness, right? It's like I'm 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 continuing my journey. Mutual energies between the two of you, five of swords, conflict and defeat, and the death um, can be a Scorpio between the two of you, but I don't feel it's about other people, but it's a lot of transformation. It is on your side, and I'm picking up the energy of someone who, is, who was so serious about this connection in the past, didn't work out, a lot of dishonesty, and we just start new with the same passion because we have nothing to fear, right? And I feel we are a little bit more organized than in the past with the Emperor, but uh, you know. Uh, but nonetheless, there is a lot of passion in, in looking at the future. While this person is like, I've been foolish, right? I've been deceptive, but I go with it. I accept it and let's see what the future brings, you know, uh, what destiny brings. And uh, between the two of you, there is a lot of pain at this moment and transformation and seeing the future through different lenses. Um, the possible outcome, Libra, that is hope and that is love, right? Uh, we do have the lovers, Gemini energy, and we have um, the star, Aquarius energy, which is wish fulfillment, love and harmony. So love and harmony is coming your way, by the way. And um, at this person, they really want commitment, Libra. Um, we have the Magician again, and we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. They really manifest commitment. They really manifest roots and traditional commitment and marriage. And um, and they are staying put. It's like you know, when you catch somebody doing uh, something bad, right? Um, that's exactly the... But uh, this doesn't take um, away the, the desire to commit with you, this person. And mutual energies, the waiting game for the right opportunity, right? Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Wands, waiting for the right opportunity. And it has this energy of, propo of proposing with the Hierophant. So this, this is not over, there is no doubt. But I believe we got upset because some deception and envy and hiding and lies and disappointment, right? And um, I don't feel it was because they didn't love you, but uh, you know, they've made like foolish choices and um, and now it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm losing my Libra. And they are all about commitment. They are, they are all about commitment. 
So Libra, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see if we should say yay or nay. Keep manifesting this person or letting them go. So let's see. We do have intimacy. So somehow that is an issue that we need to look into. That is um, something about sensuality and sex and, um, and physical bond. And we have the Divine Masculine. Uh, I might be picking up the energy of a Libra Divine Masculine that needs to look into um, sexuality, sensuality, physical bond. And Libra, do something for someone. Give your attention to another. And I kind of will see. I kind of feel that you are guided towards somebody else because you are worthy. You are worthy of a Divine Masculine. If you are a feminine Libra, Divine Feminine, the universe is kind of saying let's not um you know um yeah that is an int intimacy uh, situation there but actually you are worthy and you deserve a divine masculine if i'm uh, picking up the energy of a libra divine masculine this is all about worthiness and opening up to other people and uh, being aware that love makes the difference love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self worth and we are having this twice so i don't know who has self-esteem um issues here um but love love is the answer opening up to other people um thinking that we deserve a divine masculine or divine feminine for that matter right now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. It doesn't fit the intimacy card there, so I don't know um, what you need to work on when it comes to intimacy, Libra, but there is someone out there needing to hear a message like this. Oh, intimacy and loyalty. Now we know, right? Intimacy and loyalty. So somebody might have not uh, been um, intimate, right? intimately honest with you. And the universe is saying we need to bring that back into the flow. So loyalty, your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. So when it comes to intimacy, we are guided to be devoted and consistent and demonstrate love. Might be one of those energies where we need to make a real good difference between sex and love and intimacy and connection and we are worthy of a divine masculine or if you are a divine masculine you are we are worthy of the best right we do have adversity i accept that challenges are the best way to learn so whatever um, came your way libra um in regards to this person was actually a lesson happiness we need to put back into the flow that energy I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path and we do have courage and worthiness. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence and bottom of the deck we have forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So Libra, now we have all the energies, uh, all the guidance on the table and I feel that you are really guided to forgive and let go of someone. It was a matter of intimacy and loyalty and um, and so and the worth, right? We are worthy of better. Um, this is what I'm picking up in terms of energies for you and you deserve to be happy and it takes courage um, to be assertive about your worth, right? <clears throat> but they want to stay committed. They are manifesting com commitment at the right moment, but you know, I do not feel you are guided towards them. So, hey, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. Um, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.